Philadelphia. Today, it's the home opener for 2017 between the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies baseball next on the show. Leading off for Miami. Cameron Maven is at the plate as he watches Cameron ball one. Maven. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Hard hit ball to second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Here's Starlin Castro, and he is proving to be something of a non threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Just a perfect afternoon for baseball. 80 degrees under clear blue skies. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Altair is there. Two down. Digging in. Justin Bohr. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Pitch on the way. Fouled back. Oh, he's looking pretty good right now. Look, that was a nice swing following the changeup. He just couldn't put it in play. Yanked on the ground down the line. Two out, nobody on. Another one sent foul. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Now at the plate, JT Real Muto. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Now that's when And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He leads things off here in the bottom. Philly. Center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Now with the plate, Batting Scott second. Kingery. He certainly had it working for Scott him at the plate this Kingery. season. The average is up over 350 entering play. And this is in the air now, out to left. Dietrich comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice Batting about trying third. to move up. First baseman. Stepping up now, Carlos, Carlos Santana. Santana. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Ready now, Ready number 17. Left. Ready to get his day at the plate number started 17. right here. Now the double steal is on here. Left field. Dietrich has it in his tracks. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Coming to the plate now, Michael Franco. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Swing and a little blooper to center. Ramirez, ranging into the outfield, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Stepping into the box, Derek Dietrich. He'll look to get something Miami. going here in this the scoreless ball game. 32. Pitch swung on and Derek hit in the air. Dietrich. Chasing after it is Herrera. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So digging in now, Alexi Ramirez. Alexi Ramirez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. A called strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. Hit to short. Kingery takes it in. Throw in time at first for out number two. That Martin Prado now. He'll work on keeping this Martin top of the second Prado. alive. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Here it comes, 2 and 0. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit.
Into the box now. Lewis Bronson. Right fielder. Has a look. Now the pitch. Bronson. Ripped down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Striding into the box, Cesar Hernandez. Leading First chance for him in this one as he's got Second that average baseman. pushing up near 350 to begin play. Hernandez. And the changeup is way low that time. And a strike to even the count. One and one. That was a beautiful pitch, Matt, particularly in this ballpark. The ball flies here in this park. So he's going to have to keep the ball down. If he doesn't, we're going to see a lot of balls in the air deep for homers. Ready to deliver the one and two. Liner towards second. And the throw by Castro takes care of him for the first out. In now, Aaron Altair. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hard liner towards short, but unfortunately right after shortstop for the second out. Now at the plate, Jorge Alfaro. He's Jorge ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Here's the pitch. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But look. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. At the plate, Caleb Smith, 9 1 and 2, do up. Petra. Now a Caleb fastball to start the third. Smith. That misses. It's ball one. Hey. Right over the middle, knee high. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Popped up. Hernandez is there for it. He's got it one away. Stepping the in and ready for another shot. One. Cameron Maven. Cameron 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hot shot on the ground is short. Kingery has it. Throw on to first, takes care of Maven, and there are two away. Riding in once again, Second Starlin baseman. Castro. Starlin 0 for 1 for him Castro. here in this one. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. He's done a nice job of getting those two quick outs before the two hitters come to the plate right now because he knows what's sitting down there down the order. So you stay aggressive against those little guys, try to get them out the way. And he will get there to make the. Stepping in, Sanchez. He'll start Leading things out here in a tie ball game. Petra, number 23. Ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. That's an interesting pitch right there. Uh, let's see if that throws him off a little bit. He's been on a pretty good roll. He can't let it upset him. Just get back in the groove right here. Well, this is not the way you want to start the inning. You got the opposing pitcher leading off. Then you fall behind him 2-0. and oh. And he's probably going to sit there and say, throw me two or three strikes before I swing the bat. Center Ready for in. another chance. Odubel, Odubel Herrera. Herrera. One for one after a single his first time up. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. 1-0. One and one. Well, he's just two outs into his major league debut on the mound, and so far he doesn't seem nervous or like he's trying to do too much. That's easier said than done. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Into the uh, box now, Scott Kingery. Scott Kingery. Here comes the first pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and there's ball one. That would look like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0-2 and 1-1. And and but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. Dietrich is going to have room out there as he puts this away. To... Digging in for his second at bat, Justin Bohr. He'll Leader try to get Marlin. it going here to begin the fourth. And Justin here's a fastball Cole. called for strike one. Matt, I don't know if you know this, but less than 60% of his first pitches have been for a strike. 
and he's still having a good game. I, I don't know what he's doing. They just haven't been able to figure him out. He obviously wanted that call on the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call, and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. Now at the plate, JT Real Muto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. JT Here comes Real the first Muto. pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Hit hard up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Digging in to try it again. Well, Derek Dietrich comes into this at bat Derek 0 for 1 in the Dietrich. ball game. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now, now with still nobody out. Alexi Digging in, Ramirez. Alexi Ramirez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Man, I'll tell you what, if I had a timeout and I went out there to talk to him, I'd say, look, we just got to minimize the damage. Bases loaded, no outs. We don't want them to blow the inning totally open. Oh, wow. He really yanked that slider across his body, and he almost threw it to the backstop. Nice job by his battery mate to corral that one. Stepping into the box, Martin Prado. He reached on a single in his first try. Prado. Dribbled up the line and rolls foul for strike one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Now we got a 0-2 count, Matt. And I tell you what, so impressive. He is executing his game plan, going right on the outside half and exploiting those weaknesses. Ready with the one and two. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. in the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Down the third. And this will kick off the third base bag. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Stepping up to the, the plate, right fielder, Lewis, Bronson. Lewis Bronson. He's ready. Bronson. Here's the first offering. Squared that one up just a little late. But it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. It just could not keep it fair. The 0 1 pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. One and one. Here it comes on one and one. Hit down the line at first. And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. And he's safe. And the second runner will pull up stakes over at third. So one run is in and the bases stay loaded with two away. Cameron digging in once again. Cameron Maben. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Carlos Leading Santana. He singled his last time up. Baseman, Into the windup and Santana. the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Maben is there, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So coming to the plate, number, number 17. 17. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Hard hit ball to short. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fort. Third base so striding seven. forward now, Mike Michael Carroll. Franco. He flew out in his last at bat. Ball one. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. He's really throwing the ball well in this game. And the thing to me that stands out is that two-seamer. He's got great movement, and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. 
too high. Ball three. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. And this one misses for ball four. So the Phillies have got themselves a two-out base runner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. So now stepping in, Aaron Altair. Right two men on, Aaron two away here Altair. in the fourth. In there for strike one. Well, he got a high strike on a fastball right there. That's pretty unusual. Usually early in the count, you're going to see a guy work down in the zone. That high fastball usually the put away pitch with two strikes. He pitched him backwards right here. Here's the one and one pitch. Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Here's Starlin Castro. 0 for 2 here to start the Getting afternoon. Second baseman. Swing and a high Starlin pop up back Castro. onto the outfield grass now. Kingery has it, and it's a quick out number one. Digging in and looking for more, Justin Bohr. A couple of Justin singles to his credit Bohr. thus far. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Well, he swung right through that on that changeup. The changeup is a tough pitch to swing at for the first pitch because you haven't measured his velocity yet, so you don't know what you're going to see coming your direction. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Now batting. Here's the first pitch to him. JT Realmuto is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Well, Matt, that's two quick outs, but if you look at the pitch count, it's way down low. He's being aggressive, and so are they. He's got a chance to get through this one. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that. So striding in, Jorge Alfaro. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's a base hit one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Into the box now Sanchez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a bunt attempt here. Prado's throw to first gets him one away. Ready once again Odubel Herrera he's one for two in the ball game. Odubel. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw gets him. Two down. Coming to the plate now, the Scott Kingery. No hits stop. in two trips to the Scott plate for him Kingery. in the ball game. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 0. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And this is going to be a foul ball. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Line drive to center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Ready for another shot now. Carlos Santana trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And this is taken outside for ball one. Tying run at first base. He's got to make sure that a ball in the gap, he scores. He's got to get a great jump. And one way to do it, as soon as you see that ball through the zone and you see the swing and it makes contact, you just got to get flying. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Bronson is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Striding in once again, Derek Dietrich. He singled in two trips to the plate fielder, thus far. Derek Dietrich.
This one's flared out toward left. Left fielder has a beat on it. And that's the first out of the inning. Here's now the shortstop, batting. Alexi Short Ramirez. It's Alexi been an 0 for 2 Ramirez. effort for him to this point. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing Whoa, with his mind right now. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Kingery backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Martin uh, Prado now. Two base hits, Third both baseman. singles to this point. Martin Prado. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Swing and a liner, but foul. And he just misses with a curveball. You know, there aren't many guys that could just spit on an 0-2 pitch like that. Maybe it fooled him. We won't ever know, but it worked out. Misses, ball two. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arm. Digging in to try and Left fielder, number 17. First offering on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Well, he's pitching really good in this game, and the fastball location has been the key. That pitch right there is indicative of the game. Down low, hits a spot. That's what he's been doing with the fastball basically the whole game. Two tough pitches. Looking at both of them, they're both the same pitch, it looks like, in the same location. He just wasn't ready for it. He got to be ready for anything seven. now. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Number 17 becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Michael Franco is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0 1. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Ready for another how shot now. Cesar Hernandez. Baseman. One for Cesar two on his line so Hernandez. far in the game. He's set and the pitch. And this is off the corner and low. Ball one. From the stretch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A bare hand for one. On to first. It's a double play as their woes. Digging in once again, Lewis Bronson. Leading He's 0 for 2 thus far in this right one. Fielder, Lewis Bronson. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a hard liner toward short, but right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. Now batting. Ready once again, Caleb, Caleb Smith, Smith. A hit in two tries so far. Your JT Riddle will move into the on deck circle now to try to get 39. something started here with JT one gone in the inning. Riddle. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Cameron Maben. Cameron He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Oh, that was a pretty good pitch right there. A little bit late. That's why he wasn't able to catch it right there in his wheelhouse. And a fastball swung on and missed in the side. Kyle Bearclaw comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected. 
expected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him. Nick Williams will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's the 0-2. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. From 0-2 to 3-2. What a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now Digging in and looking Catcher. for more, Jorge, Jorge Alfaro. He's Alfaro. one for two in the ball game. Grounded to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Ready for an another chance. Sanchez, please. 0 for and 1 for him. Alexi Amarista will get the call here Alexi. as he'll hit for the pitcher. Amarista. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Pitch on the way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Here he comes on 2-0. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. But a big pass at a slider that gets past him. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the. Hector Neris will come on out of the now pitching for the Phillies. So striding number forward 50. now, Starlin Castro. Neris. He'll have the first Let's crack at it here as we start inning number eight. And Castro's got himself a base hit. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. Digging in, Justin Bohr. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. Justin Bohr. First offering on its way. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Well, this isn't how he wanted to start the inning. A leadoff single, and then you almost hit the next hitter. Composure. Got to try to get that ball with the plate and maybe get a ground ball. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Fouled back. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2 to 1 score as we play the eighth. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. Into the box, the JT Real Muto. He struck out swinging JT in his last trip Real to the plate. Muto. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Comes set with the 0 1. Grounded down the third baseline. Franco has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Now with the plate, Odubel Herrera. He'll see what he can do leading, leading off the home aid. Center fielder, Odubel. Herrera. Number 40 enters please. from the bullpen now to do the pitching. Miami. Number 40. This is pulled into right. And there's a base hit. So there you go. The possible tying run aboard here to kick off the home half of the eighth. Marlins have some well, action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Scott Kingery. New pitcher set play. to take over. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 25, Junichi Tazawa. First pitch coming, here it is. 
Scott Kingery swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball's put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double plays. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Up high. Two and one now. Now a pickoff play at second, and he's back standing. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Hit in the air to right field. Bronson has a read on it. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. So stepping in, Carlos Santana, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And a neck high fastball that time. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. He's set, and the two one pitch. A bullet to first base, and the runner gets back, no double play. Into the box now, now number, 17. number 17. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. That is power versus power. Here it is. Here's my best fastball. I'm going to get it up in the zone. I dare you to hit. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, Digging in, Derek Dietrich. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. Here's the shortstop, Alexi Ramirez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. That was a good take right there. Look, double play situation, and this guy's got a nasty split that makes you hit the ground ball. You're probably going to see it. That was a nice job of taking that pitch. And Santana will watch it into the glove for the first out. So digging in now, Martin Prado is looking for hit Martin number three here Prado. in this at bat. Swing and a little tapper. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Stepping up right to the plate, Lewis nine. Bronson. No Lewis. hits in three tries Bronson. so far. He struck out once. A little bouncer, but that one rolls foul. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they... Settling in now, Michael Franco. A hit Leading in two up, official trips the to the plate Phillies. to this point in the ballgame. Jumbo Diaz number enters seven. the game to Your finish this one plate. off here in the bottom of now the ninth. Pitching for Miami, number 17, Jumbo Diaz. To third. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch could be very tough. Quick check on that tying run at first. And the runner back. Nope. And he'll just waste one there, one and two. A runner at first with no outs here. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. 
So coming to the plate, From Nick right Williams. Five, He's 0 for 1 Nick thus far. Williams. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in. Oh, and it throws him, and they got him. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Dietrich is calling for it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition.